If I get this right, everyone's saying this one very, very strong word, that get your act right, get your act together, and work united as a team. Irrespective, doesn't matter how small or big an association with is, everyone has to be on the same page. So it's not about government versus the private uh, travel agents. It's about getting your act together within your own fraternity. Uh, Hina, you are probably, uh, as a definition, not a travel agent. You are a tour operator. You, but I have always quoted your one sentence to a lot of people. She said, you always told me this, that today a plumber and a carpenter has more respect in than I do because when he checks my tap, he charges rupees 100 and we charge nothing. That's a very serious statement, Hina. I want you to probably throw some light. I mean, this is a very, I mean, it's, it's, it's so interesting a topic today that by the end of the journey, Ajay, Iqbal and all of them are saying that we need to get so strong that somebody in Delhi needs to listen to us. And how are we going to do it? He's saying legal way. He's saying probably on the streets. We're saying Lufthansa go back. Hina, I want you to share your viewpoint on this, please, about gaining respect. I definitely believe that uh, all these people's point of view that there has to be unity. There are many small agents or small tour operators who are totally confused which association I should belong to, what is the benefit. In the past, even when I had gone for a couple of meetings, uh, you couldn't relate to half the arguments because maybe lack of knowledge or, uh, you know, uh, lack of experience in that field. And then suddenly a small agent starts asking that, what am I going to benefit out of this? Where do I belong? And uh, definitely more interaction through one platform to the fraternity is required. Today the whole outbound market whole world wants to come and sell their wear to India. And uh, we should stand united. Every tourism body is plumbing, uh, plumb putting money in our market. Everybody has got 100 representations. Nobody really has even a list of how many, uh, you know, uh, countries are represented in India except themselves. and. Uh, all this information through one platform should reach the grassroots, uh, you know, little agents in uh, fraternity. They should know that if I want to buy X product, this is a consolidator, enhance each other's earnings. And I firmly do believe that uh, time has come even as a tour operator or everybody today says, oh, India is a vast market for luxury, people throw figures. So many people went to Asia, Travel Mart, and whatever. There's a lot of homework and work is to be done beyond cutting and pasting itineraries or Googling something and putting it together. And I think there's no better vehicle than the tourism associations to enhance the skills of the people than just trying to uh, pursue one tourism body to do one random workshop. Why can't there be an annual event uh, where people can participate, whether it is a satay or a Thai meeting or a Tafi meeting or the one combined meeting where everyone can come. And it shouldn't be about, oh, so-and-so is going to South Africa and where is this one going to Istanbul and, you know, where do I go? And uh, I think one platform seriously required on the international forum for the tourism bodies, for every hotel chain, for everyone who wants to come and sell stuff in India. Because a lot of times you go to a function and they have sometimes the wrong audience. I'm not an adventure tour operator, but I'm talking to someone who's irrelevant to me. But I'll say it's not relevant to me. I'm not making the effort to pass it on to the right person. Right. I go 100 times to Africa, I know 100 other things which are not applicable to my business. I don't know how to reach it to the public. Probably I'll come and write one article for you. Mm. Mm. This is the right way and hopefully somebody would read it, but... Uh, right. So actually, Hina, you've, you've actually taken the point 
on a different level now. You're talking about unity, you're talking also about skill enhancement. You're talking about product development, which is also so important. So I, I go back to just that slogan of us where we said a survival story. Um, yes. One most important sure. thing which I always said that today you call somebody to look at your Equagard, first he will say it's 400 rupees, I will then come or an AC mechanic who has to come, you don't have a service contract, first you make a service contract and here because of various reasons, lack of unity or insecurity that how will I earn, if you don't do it, somebody else is going to undertake the business, undercutting it or whichever business practice is suitable to that person. And it should not be like that because who is benefiting is the corporates. You do a mice movement today and say, so and so is giving me 30% credit. I'll come and pay. When you are not even earning on your tickets, how on a mice movement people are expected to extend? There is no forum where you can take up a matter that are confirmed whatever reason some consulate decides we are too busy. Sorry, last 30 visas will not be granted. The poor agent is penalized because the corporate will say it's not my problem, it's your job, I'll cut your money. And what is the percentage of a travel agent's earning as against the losses and the risk he is faced with?